Hello everyone, my name is Vinny Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about direct and indirect utility function. First of all, we will see direct utility function. What do you mean by direct utility? Satisfaction received from actual consumption of goods and services will be called direct utility. Satisfaction received from actual consumption of goods and services will be called direct utility. Here my utility depend on how many units of X and Y I am consuming. That means my utility directly comes from consumption of X and Y unit. So it will be called direct utility. Cope Douglas uh, utility function is example of a uh, direct uh, utility. We can represent uh, Cope Douglas uh, utility function like this. Here X and Y are quantities of goods. A and B shows relative importance of each uh, goods. Perfect uh, complement also generate uh, direct uh, utility. Here minimum uh, sign represent uh, utility is limited by uh, quantities. Perfect substitute also generate a direct utility. Here you can see utility is sum of quantities of both goods. Now we will see indirect utility function. Indirect utility function represent maximum possible utility which consumer can achieve at given prices and income. Indirect utility function represent maximum possible utility which consumer can achieve at given prices and income. That means in case of indirect utility function, utility depend on prices and income rather than direct consumption of goods and services. Now we will derive indirect utility function. In order to derive indirect utility function, you will start with direct utility function and budget constraint. This is equation of direct utility and this is equation of budget constraint. M is money income, Px price of x, x quantities of x, Py price of y, y quantities of y. So this is a budget constraint equation and this is a direct utility equation. In order to derive indirect utility function, we will start with the direct utility and budget constraint. As we know at consumer equilibrium point, margin rate of substitution of x for y is equal to price ratio of x to y. This is consumer equilibrium point. At this consumer equilibrium point, margin rate of substitution of x for y is equal to price ratio of x to y. So this is consumer equilibrium point. As we know for this uh, utility function, margin rate of substitution of x for y is equal to y over x. That's why in place of uh, mrx y, we will put y over x. And this is a uh, price uh, ratio x to y. Now we cross multiply this. After cross multiplying, our equation will look like uh, this. Now we will find out value of x and this px will come below and this is value of x, x equal to py over px into y. Same way we will find out value of y, this py will come below and this is value of y, y equal to px over py into x. So this is value of x and this is value of y. Now one by one we will put the value of x and y in our budget constraint equation. This is budget constraint equation, same equation I wrote here. Now one by one we will put the value of x and y in this budget constraint. First of all we will put the value of x. So in place of x we will put this. This is value of x. So in place of x we will put this value. Px, Px will cancel with each other, it will become like this or you can say that m is equal to 2Py into y and uh, 2Py will come below, so value of y will become equal to m over 2Py. In order to avoid any confusion, we will name it y star. So value of y star is equal to m over 2py. Same way we will calculate value of x star by putting value of y here. So value of y star is equal to m over 2py and value of x star equal to m over 2px. So this is value of y or you can say that this is value of y star. This is value of x or you can say that this is a value of x star. 
दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन ऑफ डायरेक्ट यूटिटी नाउ वी विल पुट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई इन अवर डायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन दिस इज वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड दिस इज वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई इट विल बिकम इक्वल टू एम स्क्वेयर ओवर फोर पी एक्स पी वाई दिस विल बिकम अवर इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन हेयर वी रिप्रेजेंट इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी पी एक्स प्राइज ऑफ एक्स पी वाई प्राइज ऑफ वाई एम इज इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर एज वी अर्लियर डिस्कस इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी मीन्स maximum possible utility which consumer can achieve at a given prices and income so here px price of x py price of y m is a consumer income and we represent indirect utility and this is equation of indirect utility uh, so this is all about direct and indirect utility function i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care